Radio guys, so we have been over our hollow arch position, our hollow body position, hanging on to the bar. So the next thing we're going to do is incorporate our kipping beat swing. That is taking those hollow positions from the ground and turning it into a beat swing up onto the bar, but holding good positions, getting ready to turn that into a toaster bar. So the main thing we're trying to achieve with the beat swing is movement through the, the center of the body. We want the bum to be squeezed the entire time. And what we're gonna do is flex, so that's bring the rib cage to the hips, and then we're gonna extend, which is go into that hollow arch position. So we go from the hollow body to the hollow arch, but we do that whilst hanging onto a bar. What I commonly see is people just breaking at the hip to do these beat swings, and you'll see in a second when I demo, rather than actually moving through the midline itself. So a beat swing, they're a small controlled movement and they look like this. Jumping up into the bar, toes pointed, butt squeeze, and we're just moving back and forward into that hollow body, hollow arch position. This is the start of all our kipping movements or all our gymnastic kipping movements at RFX. So it's really important to nail this one and get it right, making sure we're using the midline and not just breaking at the hip to get the work done. So the common fault with our kipping beat swing is the swing looking like this, where we break at the hips. This is not what I wanna see. What I wanna see is that bum squeeze, that hollow body position, going from the hollow body to the hollow arch, using the flexibility of the shoulder to get into that arch position keeping the glute squeeze the whole time and maintaining tension in the core. Um, the other thing when we're doing a beat swing is you can start to get a pendulum and once you start to pendulum on the bar, you can lose your kip. So a pendulum is kind of like when you're swinging back and forth but you're trying to beat swing. It, it's kind of hard to do because we have momentum coming from our feet backwards and forwards so we're swaying on the bar. Instead of staying balanced on the bar, Staying, when we go into a hollow arch position, we've got some weight behind the bar because our feet are behind the bar. And then we go into our hollow body position. Our body comes behind the bar, but we've still got counterbalancing weight in the front. So you should be able to keep it nice and balanced without getting that sway on once you get these correct. <laughs> 